Okay, so it's the next day and I've pretty much gotten her almost completely textured. Um, I still need to adjust some of the Fong values on certain things. So the next thing that we're going to uh, focus on is first person arms, aka C arms or V arms. I actually have her um, equipped as my current model right now. Um, and as you can see, it's just using the default Gmod C arm. Um, this is another optional thing. I think you really should do it because it is pretty easy. And second of all, it's just, <sighs> I don't like it when models don't have custom first person arms at all. So in Blender, we are going to import our body from the proportion trick compile folder. If you did the blue fly trap, PBR, you're going to have to go into your blue fly trap compile folder and import all the stacks. And then when you export, you're going to have to export all the stacks. So I'm just going to import the body. I'm not going to import any of the other things because we just need the arms. So we'll go ahead and import that. Going to take these out of the collections, delete the collections. Now you're going to select your object, go into edit mode, view front click on this thingy and then press b to box select we're going to select everything except arms something like that doesn't have to be perfect and then delete the vertices in my experience having objects that jut towards the uh, head bone like this usually don't work out very well so i'm going to delete that and we can turn this off now okay this is the easiest method. We're going to go over here. We're going to set this to SMD to export this to a folder that we're going to make really quick. We're going to go over here to um, my template compiles zip folder thing that I gave you. And you're going to find the C arms compile folder template, and you're going to copy that, bring it over to your player model folder, paste it in. I'll just rename it to Anna C arms compile. Set that as your export path. See arms compile, accept, and we're going to actually rename this to C arms. There we go. Select everything, export, and there we go. We go over to the uh, C arms QC. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did with the main QC. So again, there's the your name, character name, your model template. You're just going to go through there and just going to set all these to what it already was set to in the main one. And then under body group arms, studio your arms, this, um, the arms that we just exported is Anna underscore C arms. So I'm going to copy that and paste it here. There we go. And CD materials, make sure that's the same as, uh, the entry that you have in the main QC. So I'll go copy that really quick. And go ahead and save this QC. We are going to compile it with crowbar as we did with the other. We're going to go to C arms QC and then change the output to C arms output like that. Keep everything else the same. Compile. Okay, and now we're going to go to the output folder. We're just going to cut those. We're going to go to um, our Gary's Mod add-ons folder. Our mod folder. We're going to go to models. And we're going to paste those in there. We have the main player model and we have the arms. So you're going to copy the name of the uh, main model, which is this one. And then you're going to go to Lua Auto Run, and we're going to go back to our Lua file that we haven't edited in a while. And we're going to replace the name of the add valid hands model here to Anna PM Arms, and we're going to change the file path like that. We're going to want to make sure that the name right here is the same in each entry because otherwise this won't work and we're going to delete those two slashes to uncomment this command and now when we go back into gmod we should have c arms and there was a as you can see it's our arms were just a giant error and the reason why the reason why that was is because i accidentally deleted the dot mdl at the end 
of the add valid hands command. So um, yeah, put that back. And now when we reload the server, our arms should be there. Okay, and there we go. We have custom arms. Cool. It looks like these turned out pretty good for the most part. I think those are probably good enough that most people wouldn't really notice or care about the uh, defects, but the way I personally like to stress test custom arms is by using the Arctic Apex Legends weapons uh, because they push sea arms to the limit. Yeah, I'm just going to equip some of these and look at the results. So there's definitely some stretching going on with the wrists. It's nothing too crazy. If you don't like the way it looks using this method, there is one other way to go about making sea arms. That was the easiest, fastest way. But there is a more difficult, more um, in-depth method that I will show you now that usually results in a much nicer looking pair of custom first person arms. Quit Gmod, open up new Blender again. I'm going to import, go to our template zip folder thing that I gave you, and you're gonna go to the default C arms folder. And we're going to import the uh, arms citizen SMG and SMD and the arms citizen hands, not the gloves. Okay, there we go. This is what the default uh, Gmod C arms look like. Once they're here, we're going to import our arms that we already made. Made Anna C arms, make new armature. That part's important. Import. So, what we're basically going to do is we are going to try and get her arms as closely lined up to the original C arms as possible. As close as physically possible. And we want the fingers, especially to be lined up. Select her arms and the skeleton. We're going to size these up just a little bit. We are going to use a combination of object mode and pose mode to try and get her arms lined up. Every time I move or scale or rotate anything in object mode, I'm going to do control A, location, rotation, scale. And don't move the original um, C arms or its skeleton. Only move your model's arms and skeleton. That's very important. On pose mode, I'm going to go to viewpoint front. Let me line up the clavicles here. You need finer adjustment. You're going to hold shift while you're moving around it, uh, with G, and that will slow down the movement so you have more control going to straighten the arm out. If your model happens to not quite have long enough arms or arms that are too long, is you're going to select your forearm and you're going to drag it down like that. Um, so you're, you're stretching the arm a little bit and it should be out of view when you're playing the game, so you don't see the stretching, especially if you only have to move it down just a little bit. Try to get the fingers lined up as closely as physically possible, because that is what's going to look weird if you get it wrong. Something I just thought of that would probably help is to switch the uh, viewport display from something other than the nightmarish golf ball model that gets in the way of everything. Here we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, cool, I think that's pretty dang close. We're gonna go over here and do the same thing. Now that we have that done, we're gonna hide the original to look at what we've got, make sure there's nothing weird going on. At first I thought this was a deformation, but it's just she has a cuff thingy on this arm and not on this one, so never mind. Anyways, unhide the original arms and we are going to delete them. But we're not going to delete the skeleton, just the mesh. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select Anna's arms, we're going to go to the modifier tab, and we're going to click um, on the armature modifier and we're going to click apply. 
and then we're going to go to her skeleton, go to pose mode, select all, pose, apply, apply pose as rest pose. Now we're going to go back to her arms and then go to modifier tab, add modifier armature, set the object instead of, and instead of her skeleton, we're going to choose the citizen arms skeleton. A hide and a skeleton, we're going to go to the original C arm skeleton, go to pose mode, and see if it works. And it does. We're going to name this Anna C Arms underscore Gmod Skelly. So select the Gmod skeleton and the arms and then export. And she's in a collection. Drag that out and then delete the delete all the empty collections. I kind of don't like collections. <laughs> but for modding, for modding. For Blender, it's fine. Okay. Export Anacy Arms Gmod Skeleton. And now what we're going to do is we're going to unhide her original skeleton and we're going to delete the um, original Gmod C Arms skeleton. And we're going to export these as a new model and just call it aligned. But we have to actually switch it to that skeleton in the modifiers tab first. There we go. And now we will export it as aligned. So this way, we have two versions to try. We can try the version that's using the original C-arm skeleton, and we can use the version that's using her skeleton that's lined up um, as closely as possible. And the reason why I do it that way is because sometimes um, using the original skeleton can look more janky than just using um, your model's skeleton um, after you line it up. We are now going to go compile those C arms compile folder and we're going to try the Gmod skeleton first. Change it in the studio command to the Gmod skeleton model. We're going to go to crowbar and we are going to it's already set to the C arms compile and we're going to click compile and we're going to go to our C arms output we go replace the ones that we have in our add-ons folder. Paste, replace. All right. And already I can tell that is looking much, much better. Oh, there's always going to be a little bit of stretching on the Apex Legends weapons just because they're using Apex Legends animations. Um, so they are going to stretch the default C arm skeleton a little bit regardless. But in the grand scheme of things, I think this looks a lot better. So I'm happy with the way it is, but if you don't like it, you can try using the other version that we saved, but I like it this way. Okay, cool. So that's how you do C arms. So if you are ready to upload your model to the workshop, you're going to get your um, player model folder from your add-ons that we've been working on. So here it's right there. Um, I'm just going to rename this so it doesn't conflict with the folder I have on my desktop. Copy it, paste it right there. Make sure you delete any temporary files that you may have been storing in it before you upload it so it doesn't bloat the file size for no reason. You're going to want to go to Crowbar, open up Crowbar, uh, and you have to have Steam open. I'll close Gmod. You do want to have Steam open when you do this, and then you're going to go over to Publish and set the game to Gary's Mod and click Refresh. We are going to give it a title. This is just a fake um, upload because I'm not done with Anna yet. So content folder or file, you're going to browse, you're going to go to wherever your um, ready to upload folder is that you just made. You're going to open it like that. And then preview image, it needs to be a 512 by 512 PNG. And I recommend saving it with paint.net because usually GIMP freaks the frick out for some reason. Keep visibility as um, hidden and then you need to choose um, two tags and the type in this case model um, and then when you're ready you're going to click publish you're going to go to workshop 
and you're going to click your workshop files and then it should appear in your workshop files and then it will be hidden meaning that nobody can see it except you and you're just going to want to go to it and then you can edit the description and title and you can add screenshots and uh, turn or turn off or enable comments. I always keep mine off because the Steam Workshop community is a cesspool. And then once you are um, ready, I would recommend subscribing to it yourself and then removing it from your add-ons folder to see if the Steam Workshop version actually works. And then if it does work the way as intended, then you're going to go to change visibility, public, and then that's it. So I'm probably going to do a follow-up video at some point in the future showing the third and final method that I use for texturing called fast valve material. But for now, that should be good enough. And congratulations if you have successfully finished a model. And even if you have only partially got it in game, there might still be issues with it. Or if you can't figure something out, either way, if you got something into the game, that's an accomplishment in and of itself because the source engine is a huge pain uh, to do anything with. So if even if you got a messed up model into the game, you should feel proud of yourself for even achieving that. And I don't mean that in a sarcastic way. I mean that genuinely, this stuff's hard.